So one concern that I think a lot of authors have is, what if someone else has already said what I want to say? What if, aren't there a million people out there who are already doing the same thing? What do I have to add? And I've got two things that um, I've learned about that. The first is that your voice is unique. And so there are things, there's a way that you have of phrasing things that someone else may not have. And that's going to resonate with a different reader. So I don't think that you should hold yourself back just because you think there's someone else um, saying the same things. And then I actually was in the process of writing my book. And I had never seen another book for professional Christian women before. And there I am in the middle of it. And I found another woman who had just published on the same thing. And um, my heart kind of sank. And I was like, what's the purpose? Why am I doing this? Um, but I had a friend who advised me to think in terms of abundance rather than scarcity. Because again, my voice is unique. Um, I'm going to reach a different audience than this woman. But then what I actually did is I reached out to her and I said, hey, we share a passion. We share a heart. I'd love to collaborate with you. And then over time, she invited me. She has a nonprofit organization um, called Forward for Professional Christian Women. She invited me to be a part of the organization. They have my book as one of their resources. So in reality, we were writing on the same thing, but our voices are different. Our perspectives are different. And then you never know when you can collaborate with somebody.